Dr. Hanani, you can uh, interrupt me anytime to ask any questions. Yeah, we will make it. Yeah, sure, common. sure. Yeah, okay. So, uh, thank you for this invitation, and I feel very honored, and it's my pleasure uh, to share with Simo Sen concerning this phenomenon <laughs> called OER. And nowadays, there's a new term called IOER. And uh, according to UNESCO Paris, uh, they say that Malaysia is the one that coined this new term called IOER. <laughs> so this is the time of our orientation uh, to prepare us for the coming up uh, workshop on design and development of IOER. Okay. So um, the expected uh, learning outcome from our time here together, about three hours, will be an introduction uh, to considering a new kind of uh, licensing uh, called Creative Common. Okay, and this is actually the most fundamental uh, portion of OER. All the educational resources instead of the traditional copyright, we are using another kind of a copyright license for Creative Common. So what is it all about? We will go into it. And uh, we will look into the 4W and the 1H of OER. Okay, What is it? Why we need OER? When should we use it? You know, who are using it? How we should use it? And I will try to and make an attempt okay, uh, to show how we as a consumers of OER, you know, uh, especially educators, uh, there's so many resources out there. So how do we consume them? Where do we consume OER? And along the way, uh, I do hope, I do hope, okay, that Simul Sen, every one of you become producers of OER. Bukan saja consume, but you got menjadi creator, menjadi prosumer, producer of OER. And when we say produce OER, we are not only sharing uh, to our local Simeo uh, colleagues, but to the whole world. Then, of course, the agenda concerning the national IOER policy. Okay. But uh, before we look into the IOER policy, um, we need all the basic concerning the licensing and concerning the 4W and 1H of OER. Okay, So that's where my job of uh, orientation okay, uh, is actually so much too. Uh, then all this is to prepare us for our training with Dr. Diane Schimper. This is our universal new norms. Uh, uh, social distancing, new hygiene standard, everybody wearing masks, and all of it is to make an attempt actually to flatten the curve. Hmm? So many times you're all uh, either staying at home or working from home or studying from home, and educators and students, okay, are experiencing something called remote teaching and learning. Some people call it emergency, remote teaching and learning. Huh? Memang, it's an emergency, okay? And it's supposed to be quote, quote, temporary. Okay? Uh, for how long more, we're not too sure, but apparently we are coming back, coming back. Are we coming back to the old norm? <laughs> Do you think we will ever go back to the old norm? Okay. Uh, online learning is the in thing at the moment, the whole world through. Okay. And because of the online learning and the remote teaching and learning environment, all the educational resources are digital. Okay, so this is where okay, uh, digital educational resources have very much to do uh, with OER, Open Educational Resources. So this is a trend, uh, as more individual work and study from home throughout the whole world, there is a great increase in demand for remote education okay, and online education resources. We are all educators, okay, and in the field of uh, education, our philosophy of education is sharing. And I 
can see, you know, that uh, in Simeosan, okay, one of the main emphasis is dissemination of knowledge, dissemination of information, sharing, okay. So we, that's why we, I was saying, you know, we are all in the different part of the big ocean of education. So we are all in different part, but we're doing the same one thing, we are sharing. So sharing what? Sharing knowledge, sharing skill. We're doing a lot of research. So findings of research, finding of research in pedagogy, finding research in the emergency remote teaching and learning. Okay, what kind of new pedagogy should we employ? Feedbacks, okay. Uh, giving feedback, okay, is sharing. Many times, you know, our students, they send in their assignment, they send in questions. Uh, the process of actually giving feedback when they give wrong uh, response is actually an essential part of learning. <laughs> so, and, you know, essentially, we are actually sharing our passion, isn't it? Okay. Uh, as we look back, okay. Uh, so, we, we, those days in the Gaia, you know, in your institute, uh, IPG and Gaia, so the, the, the passion among all the veteran uh, educators, uh, lecturers, okay, even though retired, but still they're so active. The passion, <laughs> okay, and they still continue to share, share, okay. So, uh, I think this philosophy of sharing uh, is so important and fundamental, uh, in what we are sharing concerning OER and IOER. So you see, I'm spending quite a while over here because uh, this is our fundamental, okay? And when we share, of course, we share to the people around us uh, locally. But uh, otherwise, uh, with the internet, so our sharing becomes global, okay? Almost immediately at any one time. So, you know, in a digital environment, uh, with the internet, the interchange and the usage of a digital content, which is multimedia, okay, uh, can take place so seamlessly. Huh? And also that uh, teacher-centered learning uh, now can revert to student-centered learning. <laughs> and team project, you know, can take place seamlessly, uh, even though we may not be face-to-face. -face. Uh, there were a lot of uh, complaints, you know, among lecturers, even now, now, they say, uh, hey, bring back the student to the campus <laughs> because uh, we need to have team project, we need to have a team face-to-face -face, uh, uh, collaboration and so on. So many people feel, you know, that a team project needs face-to-face, -face, but uh, I think our experience uh, shows otherwise, okay, that uh, virtually, these young people, uh, the generation of today, the students, uh -huh, they feel so comfortable communicating, collaborating, cooperating virtually. So should we ourselves, you know, as educators, uh, relearn, <laughs> unlearn, okay, have a new mindset, a new mindset, okay, uh, to go along with their tools. It's similar to their tools, okay, where the people struggling. And uh, we are the barriers. <laughs> okay. So among lecturers and even among students, because of the uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic, you know, we have been experiencing, uh, you know, everything going digital. So even all the assignment, okay, ah, you give them some uh, assignment, they go out to find relevant content, they need to uh, curate, using the various tools to curate, they need to filter it, they need to uh, organize it, uh, and then they uh, compose, okay, a new particular, whatever, according to outcome, according to our assignment given to them, and then they share, they share. So finding, curating, sharing digitally, okay? Uh, our students are doing that. Lecturers are also doing that, okay? when we prepare our course, we prepare your program. Excuse me, Prof. Yes. Um, I saw the, the word curation, curators in Twitter, but 
I can't understand what it means by because I know the curator is in the museum. So, <laughs> yes, 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 correct. Can, correct, can, correct. Can, can you explain about the curate curation terms in digital content? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so in the word curator actually is a term uh, used in the museum. So, uh, they want all the bate uh, from Melaka. Okay, so in the museum, bate Melaka is there. <laughs> okay, so they used to go and search, you know, for all the bate uh, that are so called traditional of uh, Melaka. Okay, or you want Sabah, they must come to Sabah or what to look for it and then take it to the museum and display there. So, the finding there, and then curation here is, of course, to filter, lah, to make sure, okay, uh, to organize it, to evaluate, and to make sure that, hey, I want Bate Malaka. So, make sure that they are all, lah, uh, memang, the handicraft of Malaka. So, curate, okay. So, curate actually goes through a process. Lah. This is the process. Lah. You, you find, you locate, and then you filter according to a certain uh, criteria, uh, and then to confirm it. Okay, uh, then now you display, and when you display, you display in the museum for people mm -hmm. to, place to go in. But now you display it digitally, <laughs> you can share it to the whole world. I see. <laughs> so, digital curation is actually now being displayed now, finally, uh, through whatever means, whether it be Facebook, whether it be your LMS, whether it be Instagram, and so on. There is a big, big problem. Ah, so when we see curation, you see students, ah, we give them assignment, they go about and ha, 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 many, many things. And they come back and give the product, okay? And that product eventually will become part of the resume and they will keep it, you know, and maybe one day they will share it to other places. Uh, also among educators. But there must be a caution given. And the caution here is everything that they curate Aha, uh -huh. uh, assumption is copyright is governing every item, which is something you know that we quite neglect. Okay, we quite neglect. So the internet actually enable sharing. You see, the fundamental here is sharing, isn't it? Huh? We want to disseminate. Uh -huh. So now the Technology of internet uh, enable us to share. But there is something holding us from sharing. Copyright. So copyright uh, hinder us. Copyright restrict us. There is a big problem with copyright. And it's a real problem. It's a real issue. Okay. That must be addressed. <laughs> okay. When we say copyright, it simply means this, okay? Uh, that you need to have permission, approval. Okay, you can, you can use people when you barang, you know, okay? But the fundamental actually uh, need uh, is get approval. So my question, you know, <laughs> is have you obtained approval before using any content? Especially, you know, when we carry out workshop, when we prepare modules, when we prepare uh, PowerPoint, do we get permission from the source, from the author? If not, aha, uh -huh, you know, so we must understand, you know, that copyright means uh, all the items, uh, uh, the rights uh, are all reserved. All rights are reserved by the author. Oh. Hey, otherwise, uh, there are consequences, okay? And the violation of copyright is a legal problem. It is legal. Um, among the publishers, of course, they understand. Okay, They are very careful. They make sure that uh, everything is original, so-called. Otherwise, uh, the moment they bring out the book and they sell, then later on, uh, the author will come after them. And they, will, they have to pay back, of course, or whatever. There are other consequences. Okay, so you see, all these are related to the world of IOER and OER. Okay, so this uh, moment of orientation, uh, all these are uh, the background 
that we need to have understanding. Okay. Now, there's a such thing called a uh, copyright claim. Uh, some of us here, okay, uh, may have. I, I wonder if anybody have seen this before. Copyright yeah. claim. Yes. Suddenly, yes. You know. Your My video son already got time. this. Huh? My son already got this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you are. So your video, hey, apa jadi? No longer available, lor, because yeah. of copyright claim. Why? Because the rightful owner of the container has filed a claim of copyright infringement. Okay, and especially if it is on YouTube, ma, then because YouTube got a reporting system, you see, anybody can report on. So the uploader did not have the legal right or the permission ah, to post it. So it could be, you know, music. You, you, you produce your own video and then you add in music as a background, kan? Ah. Yes, yes. That's the most. <laughs> la. That's the most okay. La. <laughs> okay. uh, your video clip, you know, you cut and then take a portion and add into your video maybe, or you add in the elevation, you add in the graphic. Now, uh, as simple as that, the question is, did you get the permission? Okay. So if you don't have the permission, the owner one fine day saw that, hey, itu barang saya. They just make a complaint. And there you are. The system uh, is able to cut off. And hey, your video. Uh, <laughs> so what happened, uh, Dr. Asli? What happened to yours? Um, we have to, I mean, the retract back, lah, the one. And then uh, I asked I ask him to change to other music. Ah, there you are. There you are. Okay. So there is a way out. There is a way out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Other than copyright claim, okay, there's something called copyright strike. Ah, so there's something called strike one, strike two, strike three. Anybody uh, experience this? Oh, yes. Oi, 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 oi. Again. <laughs> no, the, the, the YouTube uh, sent us um, a reminder, lah, but yes. there is no strike yet. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Now, this is common. Okay. So, it's so good nah, that uh, Dr. Mohan Ashley uh, has this experience. And it's a common experience. Just that normally people are not as honest as Dr. Mohan Ashley. They keep quiet. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a common, common. It's like, nah, I'll show you here, okay? Uh. Because my, my, my son is autistic. So, he, okay. he just do whatever he want. So we okay. have to educate him lah on the copyright things. Yes, 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 yes. Correct. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so it comes up with this kind of icon, you see, strike one, and then they put the date there, okay? And then it says, your video was removed huh? uh, due to, okay, uh, copyright takedown request. And your account termination is on hold. What? Your account, you know? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. My God, if your account got 100 video that you have produced, ah, huh? yo, yo, what happened? <laughs> 100 video will vanish into thin N90. So it's actually... <laughs> okay, so a copyright owner asked us to take down the video because they believe it contains material that violates huh, their copyright. Okay? So now I'm checking. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. So if you still there, aha, uh -huh, strike two will come. Okay. So it depends on actually the owner. Uh, they continue, then strike two will come. Color change already. Red. Aha. Uh -huh. You sent off the field already. Penalty. Okay. So still red color channel termination. Wow. All videos removed. You have a hundred is taken away. And some of us are okay, some of us are YouTubers. Some are, are generating money, you know, out of the video video that you put there, isn't it? Okay. Uh, you just imagine uh, your loss of revenue. So copyright uh, could be a fundamental problem. Uh, where suddenly you find, uh, hey, some tubers, what happened? Uh, what happened to them? 
actually there was this big problem okay and they vanished uh, when it's in the sense of they got to take it down and so on, or rather the YouTube, they just close down the channel. Okay? Uh, but usually they give you a chance <laughs> okay, to take it away or whatever. Okay, so there you are. Uh, how do we avoid this? Ah, so now we're coming to the real story of Dila, of OER, okay? So this is the background. This is the background. Uh, the background. The safest way only use uh, your own creative content on YouTube, example, or on Vimeo. Get written permission from author. Make it compulsory, lah. The wajib kan, okay? Uh, make it a rule in Simio, in Simio, okay? Use OER uh, with CC license. Uh, then at least uh, we are protected. Now I see this because uh, in the past. Uh, during the time when there was the smart school project and I was involved there. So the courseware, you know, that was produced, uh, uh, a lot of materials were infringement of copyright. And after <laughs> production, you know, uh, then people complained and wanted to sue. When they sue, oh, it's going to be a big sum of money. Oh, because it involved ministry, it involved government. So people will wait for you uh, to go big before they come and sue you. <laughs> okay. So this is the good news, dear friends. This is the good news, okay? That uh, everything in the internet are all rights reserved. We assume that, okay? And at the same time, there are many things that are in the public domain. Public domain means you can pakainya tanpa mendapat approval. You can just go ahead and use it. Now, in uh, 2002, uh, 2002 uh, not long ago, actually, okay, UNESCO introduced something called uh, Creative Commons with some rights reserved. Instead of all rights, it becomes some rights reserved. Okay. And this uh, some rights reserved is actually governed and regulated okay, by these four symbols. Now, this is the core, you know, of OER and IOER. It's a core, okay? So, we just have to understand this. Uh, that there is four symbols only. BY means attribution. That means uh, if you go into anywhere and then you get the material, you want to use it, uh, you look at the license and then you see uh, see CC BY. Ah, means uh, you put it pakai ni, uh, okay? Tampa kebenaran. No need to seek approval. Ah, and you can just, but you must cite. Ah, multi citation lah, where you get it from. Okay, which is quite normal, isn't it, for academic? If you see, share a like. Citation, uh, is there any specific format or just mention the source and the name? <laughs> okay, so good, you know, this question. So many people are ignorant. <laughs> okay, so I will show afterwards, huh, considering uh, how okay. we do citation. Yeah, okay. Okay. And uh, share a like uh, means that you must use the same kind of license. No derivative equal sign means that particular photo, if you see the no derivative sign, you must use it in an intact. Uh, not a lot. Okay. And then non commercial, if you see that, it means uh, jangan pakainya, put into a book and then sell the book. Okay, uh, whatever it may be. So out of these four symbols, only four, uh, out of these four symbols, then we can form uh, nah, this kind of a license already. Okay, and uh, this license are uh, actually, okay, the first one of course is CC0, that means uh, auto with all rights, is public domain. Uh, okay, and this one is actually not under Creative common, but it means, uh, okay, totally with, totally with, okay. Okay, now here, CCBY, you must give credit to the author. Uh, it is CCBY SA, <coughs> uh, give credit, you must use the same license. B CCBY NC, used for commercial, cannot use for commercial purposes. Uh, that means, uh, yang ini, CCBY SA, hey, you can use it uh, and put into a book and sell the book, no problem. Ah, CCBY is the most flexible. You can take that uh, video, put it into your video, and that video you can go make money also, no problem. 
Okay, the author give you the right. Okay, so so we must understand this. Okay, uh, uh, BYNCSA cannot be used for commercial purpose, and then you must use the same license. So basically like that. Uh. And then ND means ah, uh, you cannot modify and be adapted. Cannot change color also. Okay, and the one that cannot be used for commercialization, you cannot modify. So NCC, BY, NC, ND. This is the least uh, flexible. Okay, least flexible. Uh, prof, yes. for, uh, for the, the least free, the last one, yes. uh, we still can use, but uh, you uh, based on that, uh, the, the, the things that condition. govern us. Lah. Correct, correct. You can still uh, use them, CC, BY. It simply means uh, all these are uh, the basic uh, thing about CC, uh, creative mm -hmm. movement, is that tak perlu approval. I see. Uh, copyright, uh, you must seek approval. Mm -hmm. Must, uh, my right, wajib kan, uh, get approval, written approval before we use. Okay. This one, we, this one we can we can freely use. Lah, without exactly, approval. exactly. Freely use, okay, based on the condition that they have given. I see. Yes, yes, okay. What so, it means by by same license? By the license, uh -huh. we follow uh, the license. So, maybe any license. example on that? I mean, if the author used that CCBY, the one who used must also use CCBY, is it? Ah, okay, okay, okay. The, the uh, share a lot, yeah. Very good question, again, very, very good. So uh, afterwards, I will show you a chart nah, concerning how to actually mix. Because all this, we allow them to remix. Kan? Huh? Mm -hmm. So which means uh, that uh, Dr. Mao Aslis, uh, the teachers, we are going to tell them, uh, hey, the material that you get uh, from MIT, the material you get uh, from this place and that place, you can mix them up to become your own content, own IOER. You must be regulated. You must be governed by uh, the condition laid out here. Lah. So we look at this afterwards. Yeah, very good question. Yeah, okay. Okay, so there you are. Uh, again, the most free, okay, are here. And then the least free. Okay, and when we say that uh, most free, okay, OER, it simply means that uh, that they are all governed, uh, OER uh, are all governed by 5R. And these are very important. Uh. OER are licensed, okay, they provide users with free perpetual permission to engage in the 5R activities. So you can retain, reuse, revise, remix, redistribute. The moment you go in, you see any of these, uh, ah, you can. Uh, is governed by this 5R. When we say retain, uh, it simply means that uh, you take it and you can keep it uh, inside your hard disk. Even such a thing, you know, to us, you know, to us Asian, hey, mengapa you say retain? Everything we download and we keep inside our hard disk. <laughs> but actually, uh, <laughs> not so, you know, by right, shouldn't, okay? Uh, <laughs> unless they have this CCBY, the BY, uh controlling that the cc okay or we are there nowadays uh, uh the thing you know uh is that you cannot keep those items uh, that you download example uh who is using netflix uh? uh -huh. netflix. <laughs> netflix you cannot download kan? okay uh, yeah, yeah. you pay a certain Please amount of money it. you pack you look at it you observe you you, you cannot download sorry okay so, <laughs> Many uh, of the books, uh, okay, uh, e-books and so on nowadays or so, uh, some places, you know, you go in and watch your video to learn something. After three months or after one month, depending on how much money you pay, after one month, boom, no more access. And actually, you uh, you cannot download. Uh. If you download, uh, you are accountable, you know, one day. If it is found uh, that you use a certain tool to, of course, uh, record the screen, <laughs> Okay, and then uh, one day you put it somewhere. Okay, you know what I mean, huh? So everybody needs to be educated. Okay, 
that uh, we need to know the law and uh, try not to infringe upon it. Especially Simio being a big organization, okay, and your training teachers, eventually down the road, you know, uh, out of the 1,000 people we train, 10 people uh, use certain material that we use, which is actually infringement of copyright, eventually it traces back to us. So it is not worth it, I would say that. So Dr. Mamasli, uh, it's true that uh, we need to be very so-called, uh, particular uh, to remind our trainees, our mm -hmm. teachers, have to, no choice, <laughs> to to safeguard, you know, Simio <laughs> and Simio Sen, we have to safeguard. As again, yes, as I yes. say, uh, uh, people don't disturb us now, but one day among the thousands of people that we train, some of them become famous as a YouTuber, ah, <laughs> they infringe, and then if they backtrack, uh, because there's footprint, uh, so if the footprint, uh, they jack right, right back, then not worth it. Uh, okay, so we will be strict. Okay, there you are. Uh, the, this one we must tell our teachers, uh, okay, you know, Make sure that you understand this by art. Ah, and this one uh, is legal, you know. Ah, so it's a legal permission, okay, in the fire art activities. So when we say retain, it means uh, you can make your own, you control a copy, you can download, you can duplicate, and you can store it in your laptop. Okay. Uh, and it's only CC, okay. Many places that they don't allow, right? Try not to infringe upon them. Reuse. <laughs> I say try because uh is is a practice uh, that we have to make a habit. Use it, reuse it. Okay. Ah. So you all this, all these, okay, license uh, materials, we can uh, put it in our website, you can put it into Simio Sample website, no problem. Huh? You can put it into video in Simio Sample repository, no problem. Huh? Because they allow reuse. Ah, there you are. Revise. The particular material, ah, you translate into another language. Mm -hmm. I think uh, this is one of those things, you know, that uh, Dr. Hadani, uh, your teachers, you know, who come for training uh, in Malaysia, because UNESCO is promoting uh, uh, local languages. So, and there are so many, you know, materials that's available. After I show you one. Uh, and they are all under CC, you know, and they're high quality products done now by guru gurus. <laughs> so, hey, we are we dare not we, we don't know about CC, is it? Now you know CC, you legally can be bold with a clear conscience, use any material, and then uh, we translate them and then uh remix them and become your own material. So you see, because of this, uh, we dare to translate, huh? Adjust, modify. You can add, you know, uh, they have the example of the pictures huh, uh, of uh, Western people. Now you overswipe, put Malacca pictures inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it simply it really means that. Okay. Uh, yeah. we, we need to tell them only you can do this huh? uh, with CC punya material under condition. Uh, so that's why uh, this license is the fundamental of the OER and IOER. Uh, again, uh, anything that's free in the internet doesn't mean it is CC. Uh, <laughs> many people think, you know, Oi, open, open, education, so open, open means it's free. Free punya barang, uh, I bullet ambinya, and then say ubaswai. Hey, tak boleh, tak boleh. Uh, free materials in the internet, uh, many of them are copyrighted. Mm. <laughs> it must be CC. Uh, so, so, be very particular about this. Uh, then we can remix. This is the most wonderful, you know, where many, many people, okay, dare not do it until now, okay? Uh, so I hope uh, Simio Sen can take the lead, okay? Uh, with a clear conscience among your trainees uh, uh, to give assignment like that. And then that remix punya material becomes yours, you know? Ah. Uh, but just that you did your citation at the back, you know, reference, you know, asalnya dari mana, mana, mana. But they were actually remixed huh, to become this new product. And this new product is yours, yours. You're the author now. You are the author. Okay. 
having said that, uh, then we can share with others uh, your revised new remix content is your original content. It's called original now, you know. It's yours. Uh, and you can share it freely, clear conscience. Okay, that's why you see uh, many of us, uh, we dare not share uh, uh, because we don't know whether it is restricted by copyright or not. Because there can be legal issue. Huh? But if we use CC material, at least clear conscience, you know, now all this can happen. Ah, okay. Ah, Dr. Mama, this, this is the one. Uh. <laughs> so how to remix? Uh? Okay, so this one, uh, uh, because this is orientation, okay, we are not doing this exercise. Uh, to do the exercise, uh, maybe some other time, uh, if you feel that uh, we, we want to go into this, uh, we, we can uh, go into it together, or you can pick up yourself very easily. Okay. Now. In the baca lagu, Prof, mesh up. <laughs> <laughs> memang, <laughs> memang, it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. So, mesh up container uh, by remixing. So, if we use the public domain, public domain, there you are. No problem, kan? Uh, so, there's a possible best lah. Okay. If you use public domain, nah, dengan CCBY, no problem. Dengan BYSA, no problem. Dengan BYNC, no problem. But there you are. Non-derivative. Ah, ini you jangan kacau dia. That's right. Anything that is got equal sign one, uh, if possible, uh, try not to use it. But if you want to use it, you know, uh, to display uh, as an example uh, for whatever reason, then use it. But no need permission to use it. Okay. But do not remix. There you are. Jangan remix. Okay. And then uh, this one, no problem. Again, there you see. Non derivative equal sign pun ya. Jangan pakai. Ha, itu saja. So, all the X, no problem. Same thing here. Uh, public CCBY. Uh, because CCBY, you can remix uh, with something that is from public domain. No problem. So, that means uh, your lagu uh, or your music. Ah, uh, you can use it uh, together with your CCBY. No problem. Okay. Uh, CCBY, CCBY, no problem. CCBY, SA, no problem. Ah, uh, uh, CCBY, SA, no problem. But when you get the new product, you must use CCBY, SA already. Okay, because it's a share alike, kan? Uh, okay. And then... Uh, here, same thing also. Okay, share alike. Uh, the moment share alike, uh, that means you must pakai uh, this license already. In this case here. That means I cannot commercialize also. Uh, okay. For whatever reason. Uh, okay. okay. So, Simeo, uh, Sen or Simeo uh, may want to come up uh, with certain restriction so that, you know, it becomes standardized. Maybe. Okay. Like in UMS, uh, uh, they use uh, CCBYSA and also the non commercialization. Okay, there you go. So, so this is very important. Huh? Okay, so I think just like that is good enough already. Okay, uh, so uh, non derivative, jangan kacau. Okay, uh, this one is non commercialization. Okay, BY. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, the equal side do, don't use huh? okay okay so this is just a brief uh overview okay uh, on remix um uh, prof sorry uh, -huh. uh can we back to the 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 remix okay okay for example uh huh. if we use uh a public domain content yes public domain uh, uh, okay and then we mix with the uh ccbysa yes okay so later what what the license will be ccbysa oh okay so they uh, they use the least one lah. correct 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 because the yeah. sa is there share mm. alike they okay. purposely uh, put share alike please pakai license you need to say mm. <laughs> okay so means if we mix uh uh we mix the CCBYNC 
with the CCBY, uh, with the CCBY. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, that uh -huh. one, with the third one, the third one. Okay. Uh -huh. So okay. what will be the license? Okay. CCBY NC. Okay. So the NC, yeah. oh, any, yeah? Yep, no. CCBY NC. Ah, okay. So this is non commercialization no mm -hmm. you know big money no? oh. so you have to use this one as the dominant one okay okay because this is a dominant one mm -hmm. the moment this one comes in to here this whole thing uh, this whole product this become dominant i see uh, because it's, it can be just a picture you know in a book Mm -hmm. But you sell the whole book, what? You sell the whole book. So the whole book becomes actually an uh, NC already. Okay. <laughs> okay. So just be very technical. Sure. Be careful. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, this is another one, a uh, way to see it, for example. Okay. Uh, so there you are. Uh. Can someone use uh, my work to make money? Yes. Can someone change my work? Yes. Because the CCBY. The main thing is attribution saja. Okay. Ah, yang non-commercialization, can someone use my work to make money? Cannot. Can someone mm -hmm. change my work? Boleh. Boleh. You know, but again, lah, they take your your picture, they take your video, they over swipe, they can. Ah, without getting permission from you, you are the CC. Ah. But uh, they cannot make money out of that product. Yeah, there you are. Okay, yeah. So that answers you, huh? Okay. So same thing, lah. Okay. Uh, so this is what we were saying about just now. Okay. Hmm. Uh, can someone change my work? If you see this, tak boleh. Huh? Can someone use my work to make money? Non derivative. You see, there's non commercialization here. Boleh. You don't want people to make money, huh? Now make sure that you got NC, lah. Non commercialization. Ah. Okay, so cannot make money, cannot make money, cannot make money, nah. <laughs> Okay. What do you think, uh, Dr. Mama Asilis? Do you think uh, Simulsen prefer to have uh, NC, that non commercialization? Yes, yes. We we have now. We are working with the WHO on uh -huh. uh, translating the module. So uh -huh. the WHO uh, require us is is for free. Means that we cannot uh, uh, the trainer cannot use for commercialization. Okay, so there you. Uh -huh. I think that module when we produce, we need to put all these license lah. We have to consider. Correct, 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 correct. correct. Uh, yeah, yeah. There is a possibility lah the trainer will use to to make money. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, yes. <laughs> because it's a, a module from WHO, so it's very, uh, I think, established module lah, I think so. Correct, that, correct. That's, that's, that's why we have to protect it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so non commercialization. Okay, yeah. So uh, it, it, I have yeah. one uh, one question. Uh huh. Okay, uh, in the pandemic situation uh, right now, uh, we can see most of the teacher become as a YouTuber. Is it right? Betul. Okay, so um, most of the video um, that they have made usually uh, using and repeated using uh, by the um, among the teachers. So mm. is there any requirement to the YouTuber uh, to make their own license because uh, we know that all the video is not for com uh, commercial. Uh, is it one Monisha? Ah, uh, yes. Reno, so, Reno, yeah, yeah. Reno, Mr. Reno. Oh, Reno. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, okay. Reno. Uh, the I, I didn't quite get you, you know, because uh, if the video is produced and you share among the teachers, okay, uh, and the teachers reuse the video for 
ada session for other other purpose ha okay so that is where uh, let's assume uh, that the video they put it into youtube uh-huh. okay yes. uh, so in youtube ah uh, it is a standard like youtube license oh it's by that kind okay or ah uh, under youtube uh, you can also make it creative common So we we have to uh, put the the logo of Creative Commons in the video itself, or there's a setting in YouTube. Oh, there's a setting. There's a setting. Okay. okay. Nanti ya uh, afterwards ah uh, later on uh, we will look into okay how to set uh, the YouTube. So there's okay. a setting there. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Like my 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 daughter's teacher lah. Dia malas nak buat. Dia ambil YouTube orang. Especially cikgu lain lah. Uh, so they use ah. the, 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 tapi it's for non-commercial lah. Untuk for tujuh pelajaran. Okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so these are some notes lah. There are more detail. Uh, you can go through yourself lah for, as a reference. Okay. Uh, nanti uh, this PowerPoint, I send it to, to you, ma, Dr. Mama Asris. Okay. Okay, so some uh, more detail note so that we can understand uh, better okay okay so you see this what i've covered this time are all the important background <laughs> and the fundamentals before we even touch on what is oer okay so this is the definition of oer hmm? uh, by unesco oer are learning teaching and research materials in any format and medium that reside in the public domain or are under copyright that will be released under an open license that permit no cost access reuse repurpose adaptation and redistribution by others so open access resources the resources kalau kita dissect nya okay so the important keyword here is uh, resources okay they come from uh, in the world of education they come from research or whatever so on the right hand side you can see uh it can be textbook ah it can be audio it can be video photo painting your mood your micro credential anything huh? uh song music okay whatever and they are all uh copyrighted so they can be in any format nah? Bukan digital sahaja. okay it can be in print also uh, and then they are all governed by the open license and in this case we are using creative common so this definition is very very important okay so open educational resources oer the open here again uh is not equivalent to cocoa free many other people say yeah uh, oh, open synonym here is actually free so anything in the internet uh, that is free, that is open. No, it's a big, big no. Ah, okay, the open here in OER refers to the 5R, the legal permission okay, of 5R. Okay, so this is very important. Okay. So uh, how to create our own CC? Okay, so, so you see, uh, okay, I think, I think I can jump into this already. Okay. Okay. I can be, I, I'll come back to that later on. So, uh, UNESCO is a leader in this matter. Okay. So in 2012, uh, there is a Paris OER declaration. Okay. And there are very important uh, declaration there. One of them is called calls on government worldwide to openly license publicly funded education materials for public use. There is a call, okay, by UNESCO. They want to address this copyright, you know, the copyright restriction. Education is supposed to be available for people to stand up on it and improve themselves socially, economically, professionally, but it restricts. Ah, so UNESCO is arresting the problem by having this OER and saying that especially if things that come up you know from public funded it 
ought to be openly licensed. And this will be able to support uh, the realization of the sustainable development goal. And all the whole world actually is uh Coco, you know, have these 17 goals uh, that will transform our world, isn't it? These are 17 uh, big issues that is already uh, being admitted okay, and recognized by all the member states of UNESCO. Okay, there's poverty, there's hunger, okay, there is a uh, health problem there, one big issue. Okay, uh, so quality education, gender equality, okay, water problem, pollution, and all those things. Our main concern, of course, is number four and number ten. Uh, uh, reduce inequality. And especially Simo Sen, I believe number ten stands out very, very strongly for you. Okay, to reduce inequality. Okay, so this uh SDG four in ten, okay, ensure inclusive equitable quality education so as to promote uh, lifelong learning opportunities for all okay. so uh what is the status of oer practices in malaysia now uh there was 2015 okay uh, so the moment it was announced then uh it sent to all government you know please remember that uh UNESCO member states uh, is the whole world, okay? So Malaysia is one of them. Simio Pena country all are also members of UNESCO. So Dr. Aslis, is this familiar to you? The pun. The pun. Dasa e pembelajaran negara tu penjuru. When 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 they uh, introduce this. I think I more on the face to face class. <laughs> correct, correct, correct. No okay, okay, yes, 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 yes. Okay. So this one, uh, the pan, uh, the Meta is involved. So Meta is actually the organization uh, of the Pengara and the coordinators uh, of e learning of all public university. So 20 public industry all are represented in Meta. Okay, so uh, we came up with this. Okay, e kandungan memberi tumpuan kepada tiga bidang fokus. So there you are. E kandungan asli, e kandungan terbuka, jawa e kandungan. So is there you know? Okay, and we are supposed to be implementing it. Okay, uh, all the university actually implemented it at that point in time. Okay, <laughs> okay, and. Uh, Commonwealth of Learning, you can see the logo down there. Yeah? Commonwealth of Learning is one of the leaders, okay, together with UNESCO concerning OER. Okay, uh, I work together with Commonwealth of Learning and UNESCO on a personal consultation uh, basis. Lah. They have this survey, and they say that you know, OER is able to reduce cost of learning materials. Provide access to quality material, enable continuous quality enhancement, and save us teachers' time. Uh, teachers, you know, are uh, looking for content, okay, for the student. If it's OER, then the clear caution, you can use it, isn't it? Uh, uh, otherwise, copyright problem. Okay, so, yeah, and so on. And then, uh, OER lower the cost of learning materials, especially books and textbooks especially in the university, is so expensive. Hmm? So we could OER textbook uh, support that. Ah, so uh, we'll look into this also, okay? and so on. Actually, Prof, um, for Simeo uh, Sen, during this pandemic, um, we don't say as OER, la, we say uh, online learning. I hmm. think it really reduce our cost, and also we can provide uh, access to uh, the materials to the teachers, uh, more teachers, and they they can access it uh, in a better way, lah. Compared okay. to last time, they have to travel to Malaysia, taking their times. Uh, so I think in one good 
in in one one of the advantage of uh, online learning is 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 I think listed here lah. Um, yes, but yes, yes. Not OER per se lah for for our case. Yes, 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 yes. Because ah, uh, uh, that means ah, uh, okay, it's true. Anything that's available online ah, uh, it becomes uh, uh, accessible to everybody lah uh, because it's yeah, online. Might might be the difference is the experience lah. Yes, 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 uh, yes. The experience of uh, attending the training, the networking yes. may, might be low lah like, on that on that particular. But but for this year, we still uh, implement online learning. Correct, correct, correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay, so this online learning. Uh, please remember again that the OER is referring to the content. Yes, uh, yes. Especially the uh, uh, CC license uh, is referring to the content, but not only content, uh, it can be actually the whole course, the whole program. <laughs> okay. So the benefit of OER, okay, uh, this one is also produced by a uh, common of learning. Okay. So it provides a uh, self-paced uh, learning for students. Okay. I think I just mentioned a few of them. Uh, the green one provide access to a huge amount of study material. Uh, afterwards, we will look into some of the places. Okay. And this is where, you know, uh, Simio Sen, one of your project, uh, Dr. Mohamad Asli's, can be, you know, uh, to get your participant, okay, to together make a concerted effort to look for uh, learning materials to support uh, those uh, disabled. So, you know, then you can have an archive of them, okay? Then, you, you make archive under Simosen, for example. <laughs> yes, yes. We are planning to do that. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, there you are. Okay, okay. So, uh, look for especially CC materials. <laughs> okay. Offer some flexibility with study time, not bound by weekly timetable or semester calendar. Accessible and affordable for all is very important for OER. Affordable. It's free, right? Huh? Uh, uh, available for students. Even before standing up, it's already accessibility available from anywhere and not restricted by access, okay? And uh, reusability of intellectual capital is most important. Huh? Can uh, take it, copy it, put into my website or whatever. Okay, so again, uh, this one comes from the survey done uh, by Commonwealth of Learning. So save time, replace an uh, expensive textbook Afterwards, uh, we look, you know, at where to get textbooks, you know, uh, that is relevant and appropriate, okay? And you can remix them. Uh, how about that, okay? Uh, zero cost quality textbook for students, affordability, no cost, customize, uh, uh, with respect to your cost learning outcome, uh, immediate continuous quality improvement. The moment you produce one module, ah, next month you can uh, improve Another six months, you can add something and improve. So there's continuous quality improvement going on. <laughs> Simplify uh, access with uh, any devices with your own device. Improve student outcome. Okay. And it can be interactive, it can be hands on, it can be engaging, it can be higher order thinking. So we, we can recustomize the learning materials. Okay. So having said that, you know, uh, we look at it uh, from the viewpoint of a consumer first, okay? Uh, before we go as a producer. So where can I find quality OER? Uh, I just go through very quickly here. Then afterwards, maybe we can have some uh, hands-on. So we are all in the respective places, okay? So for example, uh, under Google search is the most common, okay? Uh, so I just run through quickly first, uh, okay? Then uh, let's say I put coronavirus, uh, then <laughs> we assume everything is copyrighted, okay? But if you click on number one, tools, in Google search, there's something called tool, right? Uh, then when you click one tool, then there will come up another bar over there and you put usage right. And you click usage right, you'll come up creative common, other commercial and other licenses. Then we click, let's say creative common. And all will come out then uh, will be just a creative common punya materials. Okay, it can be video, uh, it, anything you know. I'm just looking at image saja. Okay, 
uh, so whatever. Afterwards, maybe uh, when during hands on, you try it out. Huh? Okay, you go for video, you go for sign languages. You you'll be surprised huh, that hey, there are those that are under Creative Commons that you can use freely without permission. There are of course you know those that are under uh, CC zero. Okay, uh, so it simply means free for use, even for commercial use, and no attribution required. Okay. Uh, so even this very nice uh, picture, uh, okay, can also use it. This is search dot uh, creative common dot oh, It's a search engine. Okay, so the moment you click in something, then uh, you can pick uh, according a filter according. Uh, to what you want. You want CCBY punya barang. So click it. And you'll come out only in CCBY punya barang. Okay. Uh, or CC0 punya. All only CC0 will come out. So this is a search engine, especially for Creative Commons. Okay, there you are. And if you allow it to be open, then you know, you'll come out from all these now. Flickr, from uh, Google, from Pixabay, from YouTube. Now, YouTube punya the Creative Commons. Huh? Mm. Okay, and so on. So, I think this will be very helpful for your teacher trainees. Another one is OER Common. Okay, again, uh, this particular one, OER Common, uh, Dynamic Digital Library, okay, and uh, Education Level, the Standard, are all there. So, you can filter accordingly. All these are OER. Okay. Ah, so this now is uh, how do we give credit? So whatever they be used, ah, everybody will, will train them, lah. Train everybody to give attribution. <laughs> okay. Ah, how to give my uh, attribution? Nah. As long as we see that uh C C B Y, okay. So the attribution is there. So example, nah, this one, you get this. The source is from here. Okay, the author, uh, depending on some of them, they put name, for example, the team men's field. Okay, uh, then the way you as you will be the name of the author, the year is 2007. The name given is picture plan for this photo. Okay, the source. Okay, and then the type of license, CCBY uh, and then the type of uh nah, CCBYSA is here. Okay. So, like, so you can see that uh, many places uh, is actually not very standardized. Okay. But basically, it will be the name. So you see here, they don't even put the name of the author. So the author is just this particular website. Uh, uh, so this website, don't believe. Okay. And so on. Okay. So that's fine. Ah, uh, okay. Huh? So consumer, we are looking at the angle of consumerism. Huh? Okay, so we want to consume, uh, take music. Okay, so again, you know, this is the one that give a lot of problems. You see, and people get yes, uh, yes. the strike, <laughs> <laughs> the strike because of this problem. Hmm. Okay, now there will be many places. Okay, so example is one of them. Huh? Uh, we see mixers. <laughs> Okay, dig cc mixer dot op. Huh? Uh, it give you the license over here. Okay, uh, and then uh, when you go in, okay, then okay. Now example uh, Now okay. Uh, so you know, uh, hey, sorry, I didn't uh change the video uh, the audio setting okay anyway now you can download and you can use them okay uh and as long as you cite uh, where you get it from okay so this is one place that a lot a lot uh, okay. pixabay.com slash music pixabay.com is very fun now uh, of giving everything uh, cc zero Okay, even their music also CC zero, and they tell you what uh, no attribution required. <laughs> uh, ah, 
Now, this is uh, one of the, I think, the most useful for teachers, uh, okay? Open textbook. Okay. And, okay. BC Campus Open Education, uh, Merlot, okay? Uh, OER Common, Open Stacks, okay? Now, all these uh, uh, places, thousands, you know, thousands of uh, quality peer-reviewed textbook. Ah, so the important thing is, of course, to run quality. Lah. So these places, for example, Merlot, lah, hey, uh, we fed basic campus reviewed you know, by international uh, gurus behind it. So quality product. Mm. Many people say, you know, hey, open, lah, free. Lah. So free, don't expect quality. Kan? Uh -huh. It's true, it's true, you know, be careful. It's true, lah. be careful. So, okay. So, but there are places, ah, like these are places, okay? uh free to use ah open textbook for hong kong hong kong is one place all mm -hmm. their books are available free primary school until the uh, university everything on uh, ccbysa <laughs> so you just click into this uh, and then uh you can explore okay everything is available there okay ah Open textbook library, University of Minnesota, example. Lah. Many universities also have got uh, made available their books free. But be careful, you see, NC. Uh, so should you use uh, any of your book, which is in many format, you take a picture from here, uh, then you cannot uh, mix them with this already and sell. If you want to commercialize. Lah. <laughs> okay. Open textbook uh, library. There you are. Okay, uh, this is Rice University Open Stacks. Okay, and uh, all appeal review punya books here, and they got a uh, test punya bank answer guys PowerPoint slides. Um, later on, when uh, Doctor Mama asked this, you introduce OER and IOER uh, to Simio uh, punya partners. Your Simio send maybe you introduce to Simio then uh, they will find this to be very useful, okay? Uh, for example, Simeon Rexham is a Simeon Rexham, Rexham, science, kan? science and mathematics. <laughs> right, right. Uh, so it depends on uh, what are the contents they're looking for. Lah. Okay, lah. so, okay. I, I just give you for references, lah. okay? Uh, then, uh, example, lah. okay, my lot, okay? Uh, so, example, you know, you come to Merlot.org. Okay. I think we will go into some of them afterwards. Huh? Okay. We will go in to have a look. Uh, example, ah, CC, BY, NC, ND. Huh? Okay. Big collection by this person who call himself a professor. I don't know whether he's a real academic professor. Okay. Uh, okay. So, in Merlot, huh? uh, again, Again, as I say, you know, the materials, uh, uh, the collection, they got many, many libraries inside there. Uh, and all their libraries uh, are covering different levels. Okay. And they are peer review. And they are very transparent. You know, what is the star of a peer review also? <laughs> okay. So, okay. Okay, there are communities that you can join. So uh, yesterday, I think I typed the community and up here got community again. Okay, uh, community. Then I typed uh, uh, disability. Hey, I was surprised uh, about the community there also. Uh, so, you know, you can go deeper into our, our whatever place. Uh. Mathematics, you know, they have their own community. Okay, so, okay. I think, I think I will just cover quickly first, and then afterwards we can explore, okay, some of them. Okay, I think Merlot, we should go in and have a look, okay. Uh, okay, so, so Merlot has been around for a long, long time. Huh? Okay, uh, Khan Academy is also one of those places that you can go in, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, and this one, Simos uh, Rexham uh, will find this very useful. 
Hey, I think also for similar same time because uh, though you all okay, this is for teaching of science, okay, but also for those uh, with a disability, uh, these are also useful. Ah, so this is where you know, uh, Dr. Hanani, uh, this is where uh, the IOER agenda comes in very important for Simio Sen to be the champion. That means, what are those things that are available as the OER? Now, example here, these are used by normal people, but also disabled people uh, will find it very useful. But they are made in such a way it is uh, not so user friendly for these uh, people with disability. Uh, so, can we now convert them uh, to become I O E R? Uh, so, this can be the kind of project, you know, that I think Simu Sen can look into uh, in the future, Dr. Marsley. Okay. There, there are so many things that can be done as a consistent effort. Uh, okay. Consistent effort. The best is getting uh, trainees to do it as assignment that will be graded. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, because uh, the pet simulation uh, is uh, all CCBY, uh, okay? And they're all uh, high quality uh, simulation, okay? Maybe after you can go in to have a look also, okay? Uh, we will definitely go in and have a look. Uh, okay. You know, because uh, well, this, is, this is interesting because, uh -huh. because the students uh, like to have a yeah. animation. True. Yes. And uh, hands on, hands on. Yeah, yeah. And they can manipulate. You're right. They can change their values. True. You're, you're right. You're right. Yeah. So you know, these are all in uh, Bahasa. You know, so these are using HTML5. So you can go in uh, to actually Ubersoy and convert it into Bahasa. Mm. So the CCBY, hey, it becomes the property of Simio Sen. Uh, how about that? <laughs> so I give you, I, I give the challenge to Simio Sen uh, to become the champion <laughs> really one. I have a strong feeling, Dr. Anani, that Simio Sen is going to become the champion uh, of uh, IOER in not only Malaysia, but in the world. You believe me, <laughs> okay, okay. because you are special need uh, for your education, or huh? yes, so you are the right people or the right people. Okay, uh, because among the uh, public industry, for example, okay, so for example, the coming up here, the people who are involved will be the normal, normal able Ponya educators, and we are we are, are ignorant, we are naive, we don't know the real need, you know. Even though we say that we want to make things inclusive, but not many people understand the real need, okay, of the blind, for example. So, mm. <laughs> how to get the blind people to be involved here, in example? Ah, there you are. So, that will be the challenge. Okay, so, again, it's CCBY, some more, some more. Huh? And all are high quality. And the people behind this, aha. Uh -huh, are the educators uh, just like uh, in Simio Sen uh, where we want to share? So, all the educators and the researchers behind here are people who say, Hey, please take it, translate, please use it, add whatever you want, huh? and make it your own. But don't forget that you got it from the University of Colorado. That's all. <laughs> okay, we're going to go into it uh, afterwards. Huh? Okay, and just look at one example uh, to appreciate it. Okay. Lagi, you see, we are looking at it just as a consumer, you know, as a consumer, okay, okay. And can you produce all this? Ah, uh -huh. uh, just what I mean now, you know. And we can have shortcut of producing gun. It uh, is shortcut of huh? What is the shortcut of producing them? <laughs> ah. Okay. Repository courses. So uh, the first one, very high, uh, UTM OCW, not not OC, uh, not uh, UTM. It is uh, MIT, MIT uh, OCW. Okay, uh, Cello Academy. So I give you the list there. Later on in your free time, uh, especially those who will be involved in training, 
okay uh, you go into many of them to find that there are actually many many other repositories that share all this uh there are many many uh, okay mit is a leader okay and all their courses all their syllabus all their lectures are videotaped you know oh, oh they don't care huh? and they just share it all their powerpoint are slides huh? or all, all, all shared <laughs> okay all their reading materials their publication their manuals wow exam papers hey all shared no? ccby ncsa uh, so uh look at that now okay i'm giving you an example over here uh because many of your teachers now they come in uh they come from different disciplines then okay even though they are in special ed but uh from different different discipline so there are many available materials uh, to support them so for example um there are surveys done uh, among educators they come and visit mit you know because uh, mit look at the number of people that they come and visit them huh? by millions huh? they come in so 50 percent say they want to improve personal knowledge okay uh learn new teaching methods uh incorporate ocw materials into a course so the ocw is the oer now, by the way okay there they use the word open courseware okay which is actually oer and you can see the people that comes in uh, uh up there okay student majority uh, okay educators professional self-learners Okay. Students come in because they want to enhance their personal knowledge, okay, to support their courses. Mm. And you can uh, find according to topics, according to many kind of filters. Okay. <clears throat> uh, oh, edX. Anybody here applicant any course uh, under this edX? Anybody? Edex? No. No, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. I, I, I enroll for the, what, the one, the, the paid one, lah. This, not the free one. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Edex, huh? uh, free online courses. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, uh-huh. Uh, what they do is that uh, at the end of it, and you can see, you know, look, MIT, Harvard University, hey, Berkeley, top ranking university in the world. Their courses are made available wow. freely. Okay. And uh, the thing is, after doing it, then uh, if you want to get a certificate, you pay some money. Uh, then they give you uh, something. Okay. Wait, half a million people are using edX uh, <laughs> a day. <laughs> Okay, so uh, it speaks a lot concerning the quality there. Huh? MPTEL, okay, this one is in India. Okay, uh, just before the uh, pandemic, okay, together with a group of uh, people, we went to India and then uh, we went to see this particular matter. And we are actually in Malaysia. UMS supposed to be actually become the collaborators. Lah. Okay. All these courses are made uh, available free. High quality courses, you know. Okay. Uh, and uh, it's provided now uh, by top ranking university in India. Uh, what kind of top ranking university? For example, Google Punya uh, CEO uh, come from there. <laughs> okay. So making this very, very popular. Okay. Uh, Okay. At the end of it, ah, what this is the downside. Lah. You finish already, then you want to take the test uh, exam, uh, you can take it. But you must go to their exam center in India. In India. <laughs> okay, so very cheap. Okay. So we are supposed to be actually setting up a center in Malaysia. But due to the pandemic, uh, then the whole uh, MOU broke down. Uh. Okay. Anyway, uh, okay. So there you are. 
Okay, are those are uh, DVDs. Uh, these are all the links that I prepared. You can just go in. Okay. Ah, okay. Now you you will love this. Okay. So this is colcommon.org. Uh, okay, and uh, this place is by Commonwealth of Learning. Uh, and Commonwealth of Learning, uh, they produce uh, uh, short courses. For example, in the understanding OER. So that I'm doing a jam, actually, uh, you can finish this course. Uh, universal design for learning, how to make uh, your course inclusive. So your teacher trainees, uh, uh, next time, you can tell them, uh, hey, go through this course, short course only. Uh, then at least they understand the principles of UDL. And then next time you ask them to apply UDL uh, into whatever assignment that you ask them to prepare. Okay, and so on. So these are, and these are free. Okay, uh, so Commonwealth of Learning is behind this. And when you finish, uh, they give you a certificate also. <laughs> okay, so, okay. And to them, okay, uh, Commonwealth of Learning, uh, you see that uh, they got a very important statement here. It's called accessibility statement. Commonwealth of Learning is committed to promote equitable quality learning opportunity for persons with disability. Ah. Uh, we strive to ensure that learning experience on colcommon.org is accessible for all learners. Every effort is made to appropriately adopt ah, WCA G, Web Content Accessibility Guideline. And this one I think will be covered nah, by our Dr. Diane Antila while developing the course for platform. Okay, courses tested using NDBA for accessibility. We recommend you download this one if you need accessibility support, uh, courses with video, or captioning, okay, and other transcript, complete transcript, okay. Uh, maybe we can, uh, okay, again, depending on time, okay, I may go through that afterwards, go through it uh, briefly. You know time, you can do, go through yourself, okay. So, uh, I'll come your learning, lah. Okay, uh, so now, for example, this course, Understanding uh, OER, uh, is two hours. So, yeah, okay, you go in, you should be able to uh, go through them. Okay, this is a uh, normal curve, diffusion of OER, okay. Uh, practices related to OER, uh, even as a consumer and prosumer, okay, majority of us uh, are actually here in the center, uh, okay, uh, mainstream adopters. Uh, some of us could be the 3% who are innovators, okay, so some of us are the laggards, don't want to be bothered, and from survey, at least 60%, you know, 16%. <laughs> Okay, don't touch me. I don't want to know anything about OER. Okay, unless unless ah uh, my pengarah tell me to do so, <laughs> the wajib can. Okay, uh, then okay. So this is a normal, normal. It's normal. Okay, that a uh, few people will be the innovators, and we hope. Okay, that uh in Simo Sen, okay, uh under the leadership of uh. Our Dr. Haja Hanani, Pengara, as well as uh, Deputy Pengara, the Mopaslis, I, I have a strong feeling Simosan is going uh, to make many people, okay, especially your staff and your trainees, okay, to become to shift. Ah, don't make the normal curve like that. Make it a curve uh, that is uh, lean <laughs> towards. Everybody coming out as innovators and early adopters. And it's just a matter of actually uh, uh, taking the leadership, you know, to me, uh, the leadership role uh, to set it as a rule, okay, that uh, your assignment, everybody that comes in here in the next two weeks, your uh, outcome must be CC licensed. Ah, and it must, must use it and remix it uh, accordingly to the rule uh, that we are giving you. So we educate them, uh, the rules, you know, so, and they follow uh, 
the young teachers of today, they are, it's just two, they have no problem. Okay, and uh, having said that, it's so sorry, huh? do you all need a break? <laughs> do you all need a break? Okay, uh, maybe after a little while, I think we take a short break, okay? Uh, OER uh, producers, then you say, uh, hey, in Malaysia, are there OER producers? Uh? Okay, now, I give you also uh, the link to all the public university punya uh, OER repository, okay? 